Uh, I wanted to bring him here for a bit of experience and I thought he, uh, he, he coped very well with it. And really it's not important what I think, it's more important what James thinks because he's ridden the horse a lot this spring and he was very happy. How important is the education around here? Because it is so different and you don't have anything sort of like this back home in Newmarket. No, we don't. And uh, <coughs> look, I've never done it before for a Derby or Oaks candidate, but I thought this was important for him today. And I'm really pleased I brought him, providing he's OK tomorrow, of course. Um, but uh, yeah, very happy. Uh, the ideal horse here, because of the sort of camber and the neck, you've got to have a well-balanced horse. Does it, has he always given you that impression? Uh, not always, no, but I think he's, he's learning all the time. And the, the thing about the Derby is they've got to have the speed to get a good position from the start to the top of the hill. They've got to have the balance and the agility to handle the, from the top of the hill around Tattenham Corner. Then they've got to have the stamina to stay the trip because it's quite a stiff finish. So I suppose when they decided to bring the Derby here all those years ago, that that's what they thought. It was the testing every attribute in a racehorse and that's what it does. Are you as excited with any horse that you've had in the, in the race? Well I don't really do excitement much nowadays <laughs> but I think this horse is a good candidate because he's getting better, he's learning all the time, whether it's a race too early I don't know but he's getting better and he, he pleased me a lot at Chester and he's come forward from that so I'm not saying we're going to win the derby but he, he's progressing in the right direction and we've just got to hope the next 11 days go well. And the bare form is probably puts, puts him in about fifth and so he's got to, he's got to improve. You know, they, Aiden fires into the trials of lots of horses that aren't, he considers our second rate, I suspect. And, uh, you know, if he wins one, he knows that's one race he's got the beating of. And, and I don't know how they rate Hunting Horn, but he got beaten at Sandown prior to that, so he's probably not a star. And, um, you know, this horse did it well, as you say, had a troubled passage, and it was a, a step up from a maiden. Any horse that can go from a maiden to a group three has got talent. So whether he can go for a group three, from a group three to a group one, we'll see. And how important has James Doyle been in the story of this horse and, and your form this year? Because it's been fantastic and a great partnership. Well, that's open to uh, um, discussion, I suppose. Uh, we've had a great start and the horses are running well, but it's been a great start for our relationship with James because the horses have been running well. <laughs> and it's, if you think the jockey is the most important factor, um, which I don't, I think it's, most of it is horse anyway. Uh, I think, but I think James is riding with great confidence. He's obviously an excellent rider. He's very sensible, but he's riding you know, he gave um, C of Class a beautiful patient ride on Saturday. And, you know, he's a, he's a top class rider, but he is contracted to Godolphin, so we need, uh, um, you know, them not to be competing against us for us to be able to get him.